Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Glenny and today I want to share with you some of my favorite spooky cutesy games that I recommend to play if you want to get into the Halloween mood. The first game we're going to sink our teeth into is a game called Voltaire, which is about a vegan vampire, which we stand. We stand plant-based. In this game, you will be joining Voltaire, the youngest son of Dracula, who decided to ditch blood and embrace a plant-based diet. With the help of his uncles, Frankenstein, get it? Frankenstein? Voltaire escapes Transylvania to start his own spooky farm. But watch out, while growing veggies by day, we'll have to defend our crops from enemies at night. If you want something story-driven, narrative, and you don't want to farm, but you do want to play around with some tarot cards, then the next game called The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood should be definitely on your playlist. The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood is a thought-provoking narrative experience from the creators of The Red Strings Club. In this game, you play as Fortuna, a witch exiled on an asteroid for 200 years. You'll be creating tarot-like cards, meet a rich, diverse cast of characters, and make decisions that will shape your fate of your coven. As you reconnect with old witch friends and meet new ones, you'll uncover a story that spans time and space dealing with themes of identity, community, and responsibility. This game, handcrafted universe combined with its arcane deck building mechanism, will really drag you in. If you want something a little bit more spookier, but still within that cozy, wholesome, cutesy realm, then let me introduce you to the next game, which is called The Paper Ghost Stories, Third Eye Open. The Paper Ghost Stories, Third Eye Open is a supernatural narrative adventure set in a small Malaysian suburb. You'll play as Ting, a young girl with the ability to see spirits. Along the way, you'll meet Zhu, I think I said that right, correct me if I'm wrong, a ghost who becomes a close friend, and together you'll navigate both the real world and the spirit world. This game blends beautiful Malaysian traditions and folklore with its unique paper theater art style, giving it a haunting yet cozy vibe. We'll explore markets, meet fascinating characters, and face some tough challenges. If that was a little too spooky for you, but you still want something supernatural, the next game is a little bit more tamer on the spooky level, but it is a management game. And I'm hoping you've seen me play this game before. It's called Love Ghosty. Love Ghosty is a cozy management game filled with wholesome romance. You play as an adorable ghost in a charming house and your job, well, it's to be the ultimate matchmaker. You'll be helping the residents find love by gifting them items, setting up dates, and watching their sweet romances bloom. Each resident does have a story unique to their own to unfold. So you're going to be pretty much spreading love and happiness to this cozy little house. These next two games are a little bit more on the action side of things, but I personally found them so cute. So I want to include them in the list. And maybe this might also be of interest to you to get you into the Halloween mood. So the first game I wanted to introduce you to is called The Vet. The Vet? Let me know if I said that right. I think I butchered it, but I don't know. Vivette is a pixel art horror adventure that combines exploration, puzzles, and a dash of classic horror. We'll be stepping into Neville's mansion, a place consumed by dark secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. With no map and no help, you'll need to rely on your wits solve puzzles and navigate through a handcrafted world where every room tells a piece of the story. The only thing you'll have with you is your trusty alchemist lamp and I guess you could say something lurking in the shadows. And last but not least, the next game I want to recommend and introduce you to is called Evil Tonight. Evil Tonight is a retro-inspired survival horror where you play as Sylvia, a modern exorcist with no stranger to facing evil head-on. But something's a little off with the start of the game. Things don't really go quite as planned. In the game, you'll be fighting to survive, explore an eerie abandoned performing arts school, solve puzzles, and uncover the dark mystery lurking within. And that is it for the games I recommend for you guys to try out to get you to the spooky vibes that I found were so cozy, wholesome, and cute. I know, it's strange. It's still cute to me. 
But anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the list. If you played any of the games that I recommended, what your thoughts are. If there are any games that you recommend for me to try out, let me know as well. I would love to hear both your experience and your recommendation. Otherwise, if you like content like this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It'll definitely help me out as a small creator. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.